welcome to my Sunday vlog that we're doing today. I slept terribly last night, so I was gonna work out this morning, but my body was not having it. So instead I did a little yoga session, which was actually really needed. Every single stretch hurt a little bit in a good way. Then I switched out of my cozy, comfy clothes into my little Sunday dress, cause we're doing some fun Sunday things today. Starting off with a recipe, of course. I have a pint of raspberries here because I'm making a dessert recipe at 8.15 in the morning because <laughs> I'm Caroline. And we're making a recipe that I love dearly, especially during summertime, which is tiramisu. It's made with coffee. It's an Italian dessert. Uh, tira means to pick, and then su means up. And so I am making it Caroline style because you're like, why is there raspberries going in tiramisu? Because I am making a lemon raspberry tiramisu. I love the coffee one. We can make the coffee one in another video if you guys wanna see how to make the coffee one. This is such a simple recipe though. So I'm adding in and switching out just two or three ingredients. <laughs> the main ones, honestly, coffee, for some more like summery, fruity, florally goodness. So I have a pint of raspberries because that is going to be the juice. Raspberry juice is gonna be what we dip our lady fingers in. I'm gonna pop them in the microwave for like 15 seconds. By warming up those strawberries, strawberries, raspberries, <laughs> by warming up the raspberries, it makes them so much easier to pop and juice them. So immediately the juices are all coming out super, super easily. If you have a little tiny food processor or blender, you can blend them. I have a massive mite of it. Vitamix? Vitamix, and so it would be kind of hard to make them super blended and smooth because it's not that much. But if you have like a mini food processor, a mini blender, go ahead and just do that, just puree it, and then put it through a sieve like this, a strainer. I guarantee you I'm going to get, so this is the issue, I wanna look cute, like all Sunday, like I have my cute little dress on, pretending I'm Jada in the kitchen, but I just know I'm gonna get a stain on my dress today. Did I just jinx myself? Probably. I have the raspberry juice. We're gonna add a little bit more flavoring to add a little bit of depth to the raspberry juice. So I'm going to go ahead and add a big like mm, teaspoon, two teaspoons worth of vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna add in a little lemon juice. Tiramisu can also be boozed up. A lot of people add like coffee liqueur or something to the coffee mixture. So if you have limoncello, you should definitely add some limoncello if you have some kind of maybe like raspberry liqueur or vanilla liqueur. And so the raspberry puree is perfect, ready to go. Part one of like five, done. Now for part two, the custardy center is made with, oh, I'm doing this in reverse. Shoot, I just did this in reverse. Hold on, <sighs> multitasking. So I am separating right now six eggs because we're only going to be using the yolks today. There are two versions of a tiramisu recipe where you can use um, the whites. Some use the whites instead of whipping heavy cream. So they'll whip the whites into really, really fluffy egg whites and then fold that into the um, cream mixture. Today I am folding in heavy cream, like whipped cream into the cream mixture because I just love that texture a little bit more. But honestly, they both end up tasting pretty much the same. To the egg yolks, I'm adding in one cup of sugar. Give it a little whisk. And now once it's fully whisked, we're gonna go over to the stove. I have a, about an inch and a half of boiling water here. I'm gonna take it down to about a simmer and add this on top. It's super important that the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl because it will burn and just make the egg mixture not good. And so this would be the moment where <laughs> I wish I had a kind of hand electric mixer, but I'm going to do this by literal hand and just keep stirring constantly because the heat is gonna cook the egg yolks and we don't want scrambled eggs, we want smooth, creamy eggs. So I'm just gonna do this constantly until it gets like a pale yellow and all the sugar has dissolved. So stir for like five minutes over the simmering water. So I took the eggs off of the boiling water and as you can see, it's creamy, it's fluffier, it's light, pale yellow. So I'm gonna let the zavayone cool for a moment and now we're gonna talk about the other two ingredients that are gonna go into this mixture. 
So I'm gonna do a whole container of mascarpone once it's cooled down a little bit. And then the second thing I'm adding to the Zabayone mixture along with mascarpone is some lemon curd. <laughs> whipped cream. I'm going to take the zest of an entire lemon. This is totally optional. This is just Caroline being Caroline where there's never too much lemon. This was a little last minute decision. <laughs> I kind of just want to throw in as much flavor as possible because coffee is such a strong flavor. That's, you know, the whipped cream doesn't have much flavor. The mascarpone didn't have much flavor. The zabayone didn't have much flavor. So the lemon curd, the lemon zest, the raspberry, raspberry juice. Raspberry juice is gonna be what makes this dish incredible. I have my rubber spatula. I'm gonna scrape off all of the good stuff. Okay, so now this is super crucial to not deflate. Sorry, my paper towels like everywhere. Okay, to not deflate the whipped cream. So we want this as light and fluffy as possible. So this is a method called folding. I'm going to take a little bit, about a third of the whipped cream dollop it in to the Zabayone mixture, go from the bottom and then fold. You're not breaking anything within the inside. You're kind of going from the bottom and folding. Kind of resist the urge to like stir in the whipped cream and just keep folding it. I folded in the whipped cream into the Zabayone lemon curd mixture. It's in the fridge right now just to keep chilling. We want it to stay cold as possible. I have my lady fingers here. These are not the type of cookies to eat by themselves, but they are so good in this recipe because they keep their fluffy cookie texture, but then they get a little nice and soggy on the outside with that, you know, that cookie fluffy texture on the inside and kind of crunchy. They just hold up really well. And I love these ones from Whole Foods. This is where I found my lady fingers because they are imported from Italy. So the trick with the lady fingers, you kind of just want one or two seconds on each side. And I'm gonna do this from afar and then I will zoom in and show you the rest. So you just drop it in. One, two, one, two. And lay it perfectly in the bottom of the baking dish. You're probably wondering, like Caroline, I don't understand. One weekend you're making a gluten-free, dairy-free dessert, and then this weekend you're making a full gluten, full dairy, real sugar dessert. <laughs> and you're spot on. So I don't know, I feel like I want to do like a little rant on this where like the Mediterranean diet, um, I've said this before, I think in a video is one of the most perfect diets, is the most perfect diet in the world because it suits your needs and your wants. You can make it a gluten-free, dairy-free diet and still completely follow it. You can make it a whole entire not gluten-free, dairy-free diet, or you can do the mixture. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm very much the encompassing 80-20. I pick and choose when to enjoy everything and just, is this dessert still considered kind of healthy? As long as you have it in moderation, it's a completely healthy dessert. It's not like deep fried. It's not, you know, covered in artificial this and artificial that. These are all super simple ingredients, super real ingredients. And there's, there's, no, there's no guilt for any of it, if you know what I mean. So I'm a little bit worried I chose the wrong size baking dish as I continue to, yeah, I chose the wrong size baking dish. Okay, good news. I salvaged and found a, what is this, nine by nine pan. So we're gonna do a nine by nine pan. And you, once you get to, it gets kind of awkward in certain areas. So you have to kind of break apart the cookie so it's completely even. I take a little knife and cut up the cookies after it's been dipped. So I'm gonna grab the cream filling.
the perfect tiramisu ready to go. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and we're gonna go get some coffee. to change outfits before we left for our coffee and matcha because I needed to do my monthly Fabletics outfit. I'm obsessed with this Fabletics outfit. It's sustainable. I'm so happy to see, oh, cars. I'm so happy that ginormous companies are being responsible about sustainability, like Fabletics is a huge company. I've always loved their products and their clothing, but I always hated how like not sustainable they were. But now they're trying to make more sustainable clothes, which I'm all here for that. I think this is 100% recycled material, this little combo is made out of. But now I'm going to take off the sweatshirt because I'm about to start break out and sweating. And then we're just going to walk back to the car. So, yeah. He's so hot. I think the high is 117 today. It was already like 90 by like 8 a.m. excursion around noon. It is three o'clock right now, so I came home at noon, ate a massive ginormous salad, and then proceeded to have a smoothie bowl because food. Um, <laughs> I just I ate a lot in like the mornings and afternoons usually. Anyways, had a lot of food, um, did some dishes. <laughs> Story of my life, I never stopped doing dishes. Made a little bit of an Instagram post and just monitored my um, YouTube comments, stuff like that because I upload on Sundays. Sundays are like my favorite day of the week by far. And now it's time to do some watercoloring. It's just something I don't make time for and I'm trying to make a lot of time for. And I usually don't make the time for it because I'm, I'm not an artist. So I don't usually have like random things pop in my head that I want to paint. However, I've been doing cards recently that's been giving me like a theme to paint something. And my best friend just graduated college um, from Notre Dame University. So I've screenshotted some, you know, pictures and ideas of a card that I can make for her. Just, you know, a simple shamrock with the Notre Dame symbol. So I don't, I don't really have the colors in my $5 watercolor set that I'm, I'm trying to get through this as much as I can <laughs> before I purchase like an actual real watercoloring set. I purchased this because I didn't know if I was actually gonna like stick with watercoloring and it looks like I'm, I'm kind of still loving it very much after like a couple months of, of giving it a try. So that's fun, you know, finding new hobbies at different times in life. You don't have to start the hobby when you're two years old. I'm gonna burn my mouth, so I'm not, I'm not gonna drink that just yet. But I've got my tea, I've got my candle, I turned on the speakers, and we're gonna just paint for like an hour and then get back into the kitchen and do some meal prep and then try the tiramisu. Let's get painting. My makeup's getting a little, a little greasy. Anyways, this took me two hours, <laughs> about two, one and a half hours, honestly. And it looks like a four-year-old could have made it, but it's cute enough. But I feel good about myself. I got something productive done on a Sunday. Let's move into some more productivity. My tea is now very cold. 
It's five o'clock. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine, hop into the kitchen. We're gonna do some very basic meal prep because I recipe tested yesterday, not recipe tested. I made a recipe yesterday for a video. I'm making recipes this week for a video. So I just kind of need the basics to get me through other meals and kind of complement all the other stuff that I'm making. So cooking off some chicken, cooking off some vegetables, kind of just making sure that nothing goes bad in the fridge and kind of keeping an eye on things. So we're gonna make some meal prep, some dinner, um, so yeah. I scanned my fridge for anything that looks like it needs to be cooked off. We had some green beans here that look like they're on their very last life. So I'm gonna blanch these green beans. I think that's like my favorite way to prep green beans is blanch them. So I'll show you what that means. And then these are the ter perfect, oh my gosh, hold on one second. All right, way less orange. Okay, fix the lighting there. All right, so these are the perfect vegetables for roasting. In my opinion, I love peppers and eggplants like roasted. So I'm going to chop these up and roast them at like 425. And then lastly, we are out of protein right now. So I'm gonna cook off some chicken breasts. I like to make two types of chicken breasts because it goes with almost everything that I cook um, and kind of food. So the two types of flavorings I like to put on chicken um, when I'm trying to be super, super lazy is just throw some olive oil and za'atar on some of them. And then another seasoning that I absolutely love. Where is it? Ah, eccola. So questo, this is a citrusy garlic spice mix that I got from good old Trader Jose's. And I just love it because if you would mind camera, there we go. It has all these herbs, lime, onion, uh, cumin. It goes really well with a lot of things. So I'll put this on like two of the chicken breasts and this like on one of the chicken breasts. I think there's usually three chicken breasts in a Costco size pack. And then, hello my beautiful basil. And then, ignore the background of all the mess. I have to do some cleaning tonight too. But these bananas need to get in the freezer tonight. They're already looking quite destroyed. So yeah, I need to freeze all of these bananas because smoothie bowls, that's my jam. All right, let's get started. Bananas are all cut up into the freezer. You go. most part is finished grain beans I pulled them out of the ice bath in like 30 seconds to a minute they shouldn't stay too long in the ice bath or else they'll get like pretty soggy pulled out the roasted vegetables cooked off majority of the chicken which is right here excuse the towel on the phone didn't make too bad of a mess which is nice I like to do meal prep in smaller batches so I don't have huge messes so now i'm gonna put together a little dinner and i have really bad news for you i'm not feeling cutting into the tiramisu tonight even though i know it's supposed to be part of the sunday vlog it's just getting late there's no good lighting whatsoever and i kind of wanted to shoot it in like really nice lighting and take some pretty photos of it because it in the fridge it looks like it turned out perfect so i'm so excited for it so i'm gonna do it tomorrow so we're gonna extend this vlog <laughs> in just a few minutes so i can get a better lighting 
capturing of the tiramisu. So right now I'm gonna build a little bit of dinner. So I have some super herby quinoa as like a green base. I have some cabbage, I have some hummus. I'm gonna throw on some roasted veggies waiting for this guy to cool down so I can slice into him and the juices won't go everywhere. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of greens tossed in olive oil. Okay, sorry the fridge is on and making noise in the background. So, gotta have some dinner, finish the wine, and then I don't know what. I'm sorry if you can hear the washer. I finished up, last we talked, I finished up dinner, did all my Sunday chores, the trash has been taken out, the floors have been vacuumed, laundry is in the laundry machine, and I'm doing my planning for the week as someone who like works for myself. Oh gosh. You know what? We're just gonna leave it there. I'm doing my planning for the week. I'm really tired. The washing machine is gonna be annoying, so. We'll pick this up tomorrow. absolutely unladylike this is savage why on earth are you going straight from the whole entire dish I'm only gonna take out of the corner when I cut this piece later I'll only save it for me <laughs> if I was serving this to a crowd of people I would never do this trust me but <laughs> I'm at home it's no big deal I'll be the only one eating this all week long so don't judge me I'm just gonna take a corner bite here or maybe a side bite because that'll be just all cream. So as you can see, it's super gooey. It totally needs to set much longer so I can get a super, super clean slice. You can see how the raspberry juice has kind of fallen into the cookie and then the cream and then it's just like, even when it's super, super messy, it's beautiful. And this is why I love Italian desserts. You can't screw them up. You can't. Yes, you can, but you know what I mean. Mmm. Of course I made a mess trying to eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you have friends coming over this summer, you will be upset with yourself if you don't make this. The cookie is light and airy, but chewy. And then the lemon, zabione, mascarpone filling situation is amazing. You just get a little hint of berry, little hint of lemon. It's so sweet. It's so amazing. Wow. I had no idea if this was going to work. I didn't see how it couldn't work, but it worked. Th this worked. Wow. Mm, that is the best way ever to start a Monday. Minus the stress of it being too soft to cut. <laughs> I'll insert a clip here of how beautiful it cuts once it's nice and hardened. But do yourself a favor and please, 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 please make this dessert ASAP. This will be the best dessert you make this summer. Like it, it rivals, it rivals ice cream or gelato. I promise you. This is so, so, so good. Clearly I can't stop eating this. I'm gonna throw this back in the fridge, get on with my Monday and call this a vlog. A little delayed of a vlog, but hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you make this recipe and I hope you get inspired to have fun, fill your cup, enjoy your Sunday. Don't be stressed out by your Sunday. Set yourself up for success on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, if you got any value out of this, if you're looking forward to making this recipe, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and turn on your notification bells so you know when I upload so you can be one of the first people to watch my videos and support me because it means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you create a very zestful day. Ciao.